All right, so I want you guys to focus on the sectioning real quick. So the sectioning is a curved section throughout following the head shape. The reason I did that is because this whole haircut on the top is going to be based on the head shape. So I'm going to be cutting layers that follow the round of the head. So I just wanted to go through and create my sectioning that way because it's going to make workflow a lot easier later on. So now I'm going to cut everything at a one length working the perimeter of the haircut. The reason I'm going to work at a one length and, and why I can take this cut without doing multiple sections is we're working with fine hair. Because we're working with fine hair, I can take all of that hair down and cut it. What I'm trying to do is create a really thick, fat, blunt edge on the haircut. That's going to look great for fine hair. It's also going to build up a maximum amount of weight uh, throughout the haircut. So I'm just bringing everything down, cutting it parallel to my shoulders, and just working a really nice straight line. Keys to this to make sure if you want to do this kind of condensed cutting, um, first off, make sure she has fine to medium hair. You don't want to go any more extreme than that. And also, uh, just make sure that you comb multiple times, really working the base of the hair to make sure that you got every little hair exactly combed down the way that you want it. Um, so we're just going to keep our workflow going. I'm again cutting a parallel line using the back section as my guide or the previously cut section as my guide and just cutting it all at one length. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. This is a, a cool way to go about fine to medium hair. If you think about um, as we're cutting hair, usually we'll go through and do the entire haircut wet. I like to go through with fine hair and do the bottom cut and then blow it dry because first off, I already have it sectioned away. So it's saving me time because instead of going through doing the whole cut, then resectioning, then blowing dry, I've already got it sectioned off. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in there. We're going to use a flat wrap technique, a lot of leafing, uh, building up volume because we're not trying to make um, fine flat hair. So we go through a lot of lifting and polishing, working mostly on that base to mid shaft, and we'll hit the ends in a little bit. So just going through, polishing it up, the flat wrap technique really helps to get rid of any calyx. It helps make the uh, base of the hair very flexible. So it's a good technique to use. Now I'm going in with my Vibra Straight Iron, I'm working diagonal back sections, probably shift into vertical later, and just working the hair around the face. So a slight bend to the hair, mostly focused on mid shaft to ends because I've already polished it using the uh, polishing brush earlier. So I'm going through and just, just softening the ends. And this is something I may have to go through and do a little bit at the end. So that might be something that you guys are thinking right now, but, um, but polishing off the ends is going to help me get a more solid guide when I go through and do the rest of the cut. And then there'll be very little work at the end. So you can see how full that haircut already is. This is what I love about it. Now we're going to go through and do all the layering on the top. So we're going to blend that into the bottom. So all the short layers that we create are really just from parietal ridge up, which allows us to have, you know, those light layers, but it doesn't take away, it doesn't make the base of the hair skinny, which is what a lot of our fine hair guests struggle with. We're going to start off our layering in the crown. We're going to work vertical sections across straight out from the head. So we're really squaring off the back, um, keeping the, the layers nice and even, no over direction. So I'm going to be working my elevation at 90 degrees. So pretty much straight out from the head, uh, using a point cutting technique, just to add a little bit of softness to the layers. Um, we did all the blunt edge on the bottom. So just want to add a little bit of movement to it. And my guide is coming from the low crown, high occipital bone area. So I just elevate the hair until I see that last little edge, uh, right around the occipital bone, um, fall out. And that's where I know to cut. So you can see that hair just kind of fall. And that's, that's a good indication that you've stretched that guide out to where it is. So just finishing up the crown again, it's just straight off from the head. So it's no over direction, uh, just slightly to the previous section, um, so that you keep a nice strong guide in there. So now we're going to move into what I would call like the sweet spot of the haircut. This is really what, what makes the haircut a little bit different. So look at my over direction. I'm over directing everything over top of the forehead. And what that's going to do is cut the shortest point at the forehead and push the longest point back off the face. So that is really my goal with this haircut is to add those nice light layers to the front 
but also keep a nice heavy weight around the base. So this is what really makes the entire haircut. Now my over direction is everything to the center. So I'm over, so I cut my first guideline and then I over direct everything to it right over the center of the head, which gives me um, a little bit of over direction, which pushes some weight towards the sides as well. So this is all about keeping the weight on the haircut, but adding nice light layers. So somebody with fine hair can still have a lot of movement to their haircut. So you'll notice on when I get to the other side, my body position didn't change, but the way that I'm pushing the hair did. So um, the, the top right side, I was pulling the hair towards myself. And then the, the, the left side, I'm pushing the hair away. So you can see how those layers just move throughout the haircut, but how we get that nice, still crisp heaviness on the bottom. Now I'm going to go through, finish the blow dry and finish out the style. So um, again, this is a great time saving technique for any haircut. If you cut the bottom, you blow it dry because you're already sectioned out. Then you cut the top, you blow it dry. Now you've saved. It takes me, you know, two minutes to blow this dry and a couple minutes to iron it and, and we're good to go. So I hope you guys learned a lot from that technique alone. And, and then being able to cut this fine hair is definitely a huge benefit. So just going through polishing out with the Vibra Straight Iron again. Um, I got my YS Park 332 comb. Uh, I think for the entire haircut, just to do a little bit of a tool breakdown, I did use the uh, Mizutani Type Z2 scissor. Uh, it's a six inch blade and it has the nano powder metal steel, which basically means that it's made up of smaller molecules that are very even, so you get a nice crisp cut. So we're finished this off, Bricado hairspray, um, then I brush it back and just get that movement in there. I like that it kind of has a lived in look to it, but you can see those layers, how they stack up, but it's still nice and full. Hope you guys like this cut, let me know.